This is Tuesday, October 8th, and I will call this uh, informational meeting to order. Uh, we actually have a pretty tight agenda uh, with not too much on the agenda except a couple of executive issues that we'll deal with shortly. That being said, however, it is open to city council discussion. Is there any input or any, any uh, city council discussion at this point in time, councilors? Councilor Staggers, please. Yeah, I guess I was a little concerned about what I read in the Argus Leader uh, in regard to the um, meeting with the uh, people on the Tonka Trail and having two police officers there. Now, I think, Sue, were you there by any chance? If you could, could you say something about that? It's my understanding that there were two officers there because one was a trainee that was shadowing um, the other officer. and. At a lot of these meetings, I know that with some of the railroad relocation and, and other meetings that there have been police officers there, usually they're plain closed, uh, but they must have utilized just those that are the officers from, that, from the Southeast District for that meeting. But the only reason there were two is because the one was a new officer that was shadowing the other officer. Yeah, yeah, I guess uh, in the past I've not been aware that police officers were attending some of these meetings and um, was it intimidating for those people? The I, I thought that people were very open. Mm -hmm. I didn't feel that anyone was intimidated. To the contrary, I, I felt that some of those that had been quieter in the past uh, felt that they could speak and be heard, so I didn't think that the police officers had any negative effect. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Councilor from Buck, please. If I could just add to that, I've been to neighborhood meetings too where there were police officers in attendance. It's just a sign of the times. It's not, it's not specific to that particular group or that they expected anything bad to happen. It just, it just is. That's become kind of a standard for city meetings to have, and sometimes they're in uniform and sometimes they're not, but I've been to a lot of meetings where they've been there. Thank you. Is there anything else? Okay, there being none, I am going to uh, ask for a motion um, to go into executive session for proposed or pending litigation and contractual matters under South Dakota Codified Law 125.2.3. Um, is there a motion? So moved. Second? Second. So there's been a motion and a second. Um, roll call or do we just... Are we doing both? Roll call, please. Councilmember Staggers? Yes. Anderson? Yes. Erpenbach? Yes. Karski? Yes. Aguilar? Yes. I'll also need a motion. Uh, there will be a second issue that we need to deal with uh, concerning personnel matters pursuant to uh, SDCL 1-25-21. I'll need a motion uh, to go into executive session on this, please. So moved, Erpenbach. Second. Second, Aguilar. Uh, roll call vote, please. Council Member Staggers? Yes. Anderson? Yes. And Erpenbach? Yes. Karski? Yes. Aguilar? Yes. Please note the time. It is uh, two minutes after 4, 4.02. Immediately following the executive sessions, we will come back for a public services committee meeting. Please clear the room, please, except those that are involved.